continental Ecuador is in the northwestern coast of South America, limited by Colombia on the north and Peru on the south and east. This is crossed by the equator, from where its name derives. It is a country that offers diverse and charming landscapes, experimenting in each one of them different climates and cuisines, and finding a great diversity in its ancestral people and cultures. Its territory is divided in four great unique regions. The coast with its humid tropical climate, the sierra or the mountain range formed by the mountain range of the Andes and where the cold climate predominates, the Amazon, the most humid of the country, crossed by many rivers, son of an affluent of the Amazon, and the insular region with the famous archipelago of Colom, but better known as the Galapagos Islands, located 600 miles from the continental coast of Ecuador and considered by the scientists of the entire world as the most important natural sanctuary. This extraordinary natural laboratory, fusion of peculiar species of fauna and flora of unique natural values in the world, was declared National Park by the Government of Ecuador in 1959. Natural Patrimony of the Humanity by UNESCO in 1979 and detailed reserves of the biosphere in 1985. The Galapagos Islands belong to the Republic of Ecuador since 1832, in which they were annexed to its territory. It is an inescapable destiny for the travelers who yearn to narrow its bows with modern nature. Thanks to its spectacular landscaping wealth, its animals of prehistoric appearance, and exotic of its flora and fauna. Dark volcanic lava that contrasts from the blue marine turquoise waters, brush painted with the white sand of its beaches and clear green of its exotic vegetation, will be the unforgettable photography that visitors will catch from these islands. A short stay, but will fall in love with the archipelago when crossing them one by one and finding in them its exuberant flora and its friendly fauna that makes it a magical place. Conformed by 13 great islands, six small ones and more than 40 small barren islands of volcanic single origin, only four of their islands are inhabited, San Cristobal, Santa Cruz, Isabella and Floriana. The islands have official names in Spanish, however, they still maintain the names that were given by visitors in the past. History register names that have been given in favor of kings, such as Charles, Floriana, whose name in English is King Charles II of England, or important people with a novel title, such as Albermale, Isabella, whose name in English is the Duke of Albermale, or remembering the pirates' times such as Bindol, Marchena, after the famous English pirate Bindol. Observing them from the sea, it has the impression of volcanoes arising by recent eruptions. One would almost say that the atmospheric erosion has not had time to even model its forms. The lava layers are intact. Nothing seems to be altered, neither by the sea, nor the wind, nor by sand. There is no place in the world so attractive for scientists, investigators, biologists, and botanists as this archipelago. Here it is possible to find life and its millenary evolution in its primitive state, almost untouched by man. The Galapagos Islands are located in one of the most attractive volcanic places on Earth, and they are surrounded by cold currents that are brought towards the north by the Humboldt Current. Galapagos has two seasons, warm and humid from January to June, and cold and dry from July to December. These were the same islands that impressed the scientist Charles Darwin, the scientific work of this English naturalist has as essential point during his visit to the Galapagos Islands on board of the Beagle in 1835, which fulfilled with a fundamental paper in gestation of the evolution theory. Until then, the dominant conception consisted of thinking that each species had been created individually and that did not undergo any change with the passage of time. It considered that the species were immutable. In Galapagos, its attention was strongly attracted by a species that had become closely related but that differed in its structure and its nutritional habits. His observations led to him to the conclusion that these species had not appeared in the islands but that they had migrated to the Galapagos coming from the continent. 
in its new habitat, they found great variety of food and were not having competitors and being isolated geographically. They underwent a fast adaptation to different atmospheres, appearing new species, different among them, although all descended from a common ancestor. And it is indeed under the name of this scientist that in 1959 was based the Charles Darwin Research Station, located in the Santa Cruz Island, dedicated to the preservation of the Galapagos ecosystems. The foundation provides knowledge and the support to assure the conservation of the biodiversity in the islands. Among the fascinating animals that live in the Galapagos, it is possible to observe a strange coexistence of polar and tropical species. The albatrosses and sea lions pertaining to a north fauna prosper among the iguanas and the tortoises, characteristic species of the tropical regions. The Colon archipelago is better known as Galapagos by the fame of the giant land turtles that in these islands have been conserved in a very large number, while in almost all other places of the world they have already disappeared. The Galapagos, in spite of its robust appearance, live a calm life. They can live more than 200 years and their weight can reach up to the 600 pounds. In the Charles Darwin Research Station, the main point of visit is the center of raising of the giant tortoises, where the Galapagos can be seen by visitors in their corals, and among them, the most famous Galapagos, Lonesome George, who got its name to the little interest that shows to its mate. This tortoise, pertaining to a species threatened by extinction, was the only terrestrial turtle that was in the Pinta Island. It was discovered more than 30 years ago and transferred to the station for its care and preservation. The islands also have another extraordinary species, the Galapagos iguana, which reminds us of monsters from the extraordinary distant geological age. In the archipelago, these are found in land and marine, being the origin of the last mysteries, since it is not even possible to verify if they arrived to the archipelago or if they learned to swim. Another species that calls much attention of the tourist is the sea lion. First, because it is a characteristic animal of cold zones that has come to rest in a tropical atmosphere. And second, by its grace, it is clumsy when it moves in mainland, but at the sea, it transforms into an authentic subaquatic dancer. Among the beautiful and rare birds of this archipelago that Charles Darwin kindly observed are the finches very similar to the sparrows of the continent, and the Lang Galapagos dove, of dark reddish color above and rose underneath. Of all the Galapagos birds, the Galapagos hawk is certainly the most exceptional, because the Galapagos hawk is the only one in the world that does not fear the human being. Among the marine birds, we have the famous booby, the blue-footed booby, the red-footed booby, and Nazca booby, the last of the greatest. They are also the romantic frigate birds, characterized because the male has under its tip an enormous red stock market that swells to attract the female at fervor time. The cormorant that has a lot of capacity to fly, having atrophied wings. This means it is very easy for it to capture enough fish for its food. It can submerge in the sea and swim better than a fish. The Galapagos penguin is the only of its class that lives in a tropical region. It is small, graceful, and funny. Other beautiful birds that live in the archipelago are the flamingos, that with their long legs and their pink bodies offer a wonderful spectacle. In Galapagos, you will also be able to find whales, dolphins, sharks, rays, among other species. Everything is a paradise, where the greater part of the reptiles, a species of birds, plants, fish, and invertebrates are endemic, a natural wonder that few have the privilege to observe.